Matur Tapiasi. Pade pade. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. See you. Okay, see you. Well, it was interesting hearing about the uh, Sasak original people's culture and lifestyle. Well, like I said, there's some information there that I have to unpack still, so I'll have to think about it on the way to Kuta Beach, Lombok. Not Bali, Lombok. Let's go. Down the hill towards the beach. Beautiful drive. Love it. We're coming near Kuta Beach here. Kuta Beach, Lombok. There's an international school to my left there. Looks nice. Let's see, international school, new infrastructure. Oh, we definitely got big plans for this area. Well, there's some foreigners right away at this cafe there. Ooh, damn, look at the beach. So stay here, uh, take a pool a minute. Okay, I can see. Nice Mr. Rekna is gonna watch my bag while we go to the beach. And maybe come back here and get a coffee after, but I wanna see this beach immediately. Back in the phone now, by the way. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Kuta Lombok, people. Now this is a beach worth making an effort to get to. I love it. Okay, you see there's a little bit of flotsam and jetsam, but we've also got people cleaning up down here. And you can see they've cleaned up down this way because I see no flotsam and jetsam. That's a nice word for saying plastic and whatnot. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? I brought a drone with me and I haven't got it up this entire trip. So I think this is the time to put the drone up. Let's find a spot. Hopefully the sun's gonna continue to stay out. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Just had a swim, didn't ya? You're all excited, aren't ya? Going for another one, aren't ya? boy. <laughs> DJI Mini 2. Only used it a few times. I'm a crab pilot, but we'll give it a go. Really not sure how that went. We'll see. Landing. <laughs> Landed. Right, let's find a place to stay. Hello. Thank you. Nice facilities too. Wow. Nice facilities. I really don't want your coconuts, but okay. But get an iced tea. Okay, thank you. Smart guy. <laughs> Smart. He knows all the boules hang out here. Well, this looks rather nice. Uh, Wi Fi? Yeah. Good. I think I'll sit right here. Do some accommodation planning. A little bit dear, but again, it's right across from the main beach and it's a very nice place. Coffee served. Here's the hotels in Kuta Beach, Lombok. It looks like most of them are up in the town, not on the beach. So I want to go check out the surfers. They've got a pool, apparently it's only 200,000 rupees. 
Yeah, looks all right. That's right across from the beach. Perfect. Let's have a look. And this is Surfers, by the way. Looks cheap and cheerful. Does this advertise? Hopefully they've got a room. Okay, the official room tour. It'll be pretty brief, I think. <laughs> it's cheap and cheerful. What do you want? It's got a fairly good-sized bed. Nice and soft, actually, surprisingly. And the aircon is nice and cool and clean. It doesn't have that musty smell, you know? Little view of the garden. And your typical all-in-one bathroom. Hot shower. It's all right, really. And I'll put the price on the screen now. There we go, by the window. That's better. <laughs> now I've got an office. Test, test, testing, one, two, three, GoPro. Okay, on the GoPro. And heading out on the bike. Thirteen minutes over to the next point. That'll be our first stop. Let's hit it. Away we go. the big boulevard here the sound barriers they've got some big infrastructure going on here okay they've definitely got huge plans for this area yeah it looks like grandstands for a racetrack pertamina mandalika international street circuit well i'll be damned I really don't want a t-shirt, but thank you. So you wait here all day hoping somebody comes so you can tell, sell us t-shirts. Uh, but no, very quiet. Nobody, anybody come today? No, nobody, people come. It's 150. 150,000. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, I'm not interested in that. Yeah. Buy an iced tea. There you go, okay? Good luck. Try to have a better day, okay? Thank you. Okay, take care. Good luck. Yeah, no problem. Good day, yeah? You too. And hopefully it lifts the spirits just a little bit. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Hello! Hello, sir. This is a world yeah. championship, yeah? Yes. Coming to Lombok. Yes. Takuda. And uh, next year, maybe at the GP? Again, maybe? GP? Yeah, yes. GP. Think big, get big. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep thinking big. Yes, sir. Good luck, you guys. You should be proud. The track looks beautiful. I saw it from yes. the other side. Yes, really nice, world class. Yes. Cheers. Have a nice day, sir. So, I'm not sure how I feel about a speedway at Kuda Beach. They want to race tourism, they want to create jobs. I get all that, right? And we're part of that. I'm here, so I'm part of that whole thing as well. I'm just as guilty for adding to the problem or <laughs> what the government sees as a solution. But I've got really mixed feeling about making this particular very special area pop. When I say pop, I mean explode with people and tourism and buildings and condominiums and wait now this says turn left to book it or us oh, i'm so confused okay i see three or four people turning left let's go down there first book it Merisek. oh okay uh, this ticket for the parking here yeah you pay now and parking inside yeah no problem Wow. Look at this beach. Just on the GoPro here, still. Wow. One little warung here. Selling coconuts, obviously. I smell fire, so that means there's barbecue too. Just on the phone now just look at this beach absolutely amazing definitely have to go over there too wherever that is definitely want to see what's going on over there 
It's basically me, my coconut, one little warong, and a fisherman. <laughs> That's it. Okay, me and Wilson, <laughs> we're gonna fly this drone. Okay, and I'm a crap pilot, but we'll give it a go. Oh, always remember to press record. want to land it in here but a little complicated so forgive me drone that was all right <laughs> thank you nice to meet you this beach is getting packed out time to leave <laughs> there's two people down there okay way over the other side there there's apparently a top rated warung let's check it out I'm starving need some lunch well 4 p.m. Need a brunch. Here's the first one. Check this out. Nobody coming to collect any money from me yet. Oh, this looks beautiful. Man, this sand reminds me of Cancun. It's just like powder. This poor guy's got to clean up all the tide line on this beach with that little wheelbarrow. He's doing a great job, actually. He's done all of this. You can see it's a ne never-ending job because the tide comes in twice a day bringing all kinds of flotsam and jetsam and there he is cleaning it all up. Good on him. Right. This is Warong Turtle, by the way. Down to the corner. Let's see this Warong Dinas. Brilliant. Love it. Let's have a look tell right away I'm gonna love this place. Beautiful. Sand test. Pretty white, pretty powdery. Yep, this will do. Beer 30k, not bad. Hey, draft 25k. Just waiting for lunch. Wow, yeah. that looks great. Okay, right here. <sighs> Maxia, yeah. I have to add this. I'll say that nasty goring is the best nasty goring I've had since I've come to Indonesia. Absolutely fantastic. Super spicy. Love it. I have a complaint. Why? It was too good. I eat too fast. <laughs> the guy was just singing, have a nice day. And again. <laughs> I almost want to buy something from him. I don't even want an ice cream cone. I'd recommend Dina's. <laughs> fantastic, nasty, great, great stuff. Beach superlative. So that was Dina's Warung. Okay, just as I was leaving there, I talked to a couple of, and they've been coming here for 20 years. And apparently all this land has been bought by wealthy investors. They've got plans for big, <laughs> big hotels, condominiums, etc. So she said, just enjoy these memories while you can. And that's, I'll take that to heart. Bukit Merasek. Okay, so basically we were down at that beach earlier and we're going to climb up there. I should mention I'm back on the phone by the way because the GoPro is pretty useless in twilight. And you can see the new construction continues to our right. As the lady said, enjoy these memories while you can, indeed. 
This landscape, I feel like we're on Easter Island or something. This guy deserves a tip. I mean, look at the lengths he's going to to get customers. Unbelievable. He's on a scooter. He's going straight up that. Nestle, you need to make a commercial of this guy. Nestle, we're everywhere you go. <laughs> Couple more foreigners. Ice cream man, you rock. Hati hati. One slip and that's a long way down. Okay, I want to put up the drone. I got close. Hopefully that's okay. Yep. Ah, relief. That's it for the actual sun setting, but it should get a lot prettier with the clouds, etc., and the reflection. It does pretty up. I'll be a Kuda by then. Okay, it was damn confusing getting here. Hopefully I can figure out how to get back. Okay, Google's not saying anything, but I'm pretty sure we have to go this way. Ooh, that sky's getting prettier. Okay, we're back. Let's just park and go up those stairs for a second. Let's see what we can see. I like this view. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. That's what I wanted. The Apre Sunset Glow. Beautiful. Make money and make parents and kids smile at the same time. What could be better than that? This is a trailer, right? And it's attached to his little scooter there. Fantastic portable business. Take it with you anywhere. Now, shower, turn and burn. Let's get something good to eat. Let's go. Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still for a little Longer, I have to slip away. 